Years later is a series where I take a look back on past pop culture and cinema and see if films out of 10 or more years older still hold up. Today's episode will be on Green Lantern. It was released on June 17, 2011. So, does it hold up? What year is it? Whoa. What? <gasps> hey, Thursday. What year? No. What? Year is it? I've heard a lot about this film, about sort of just how horrible it is. Now, I will say, I feel like this film came out way too early. In terms of the technology, it was not ready. Your will turns thought into reality. <laughs> like it is nowadays it didn't have like Thanos Thanos is a perfect example of a what a CG character can do most of this movie is C okay maybe not most of it but some of it is CG and it's wonky it's dodgy it doesn't look the best I'll say right now I don't think it's as bad as people make it out to be it's actually kind of okay it's mediocre at best I don't think it's the abomination or as bad as people make it out I think people are just laughing at how weird the aliens look which granted some of them some of the lanterns and how they look look goofy as fuck but in terms of just the film itself it's not even that bad so Ryan Reynolds is playing this character and I don't know if it's a miscast or just I think it is a miscast because again it's weird seeing him in this film just basically any other film that I see him in it's gonna be weird because I see him as Deadpool now as Wade Wilson so it's like him as Hal Jordan he does fine he does what he's given he's fine in it I do find it interesting that he is with Blake Lively and I don't know so they are a couple in real life and I do wonder if they like kind of met each other on set one of them asked each other out and then that's history it is interesting seeing them interact with each other most of Reynolds suit is CG even his mask I don't know why his mask CG everything CG like why is specifically his mask why is it cg i have no idea why it is cg it just is for some weird ass reason and i honestly thought sinestro was gonna be the villain because i don't know he seems nice up in space typical hierarchy general where he's kind of a hard ass but do things that seems normal and like logical and i thought he was gonna be the villain no injustice or whatnot other dc comics other properties and other movies to have that one weird scientist guy be the villain i think is he the villain okay he is the villain he is a goddamn villain because he's like the weird mutated villain for some weird reason it's sucks honestly this is like one of the worst parts about the film where it's like why is he the villain he got cut but his blood cells kept turning green into a lantern green or something and then he kept mutating to some weird alien creature and then he would just became evil for this he could become an evil and ryan reynolds has to stop him not going well at all it's not good nor interesting so goddamn that sucked that was rough to get through and this is my first watch it's like oh, goddamn all right I'm, I'm just gonna have to push through this and i guess i do like the lanterns like the space up in space how they work i do like them despite them be you know looking weird or whatnot i do like like the lantern corpse i like the idea of it i don't think this film it doesn't have in too much because it feels like a chunk maybe half of this movie or more of it is on earth and it's like it's supposed to be green lantern i don't know when i heard of green lantern i'm thinking of space stuff it's kind of like thor movies where like the first two is like why is it so much on earth this kind of has the same problem where why is it like kind of on earth it should be in space it's probably because of the budget and technology at the time back in 2010 2011 just wasn't there was not ready at all and so when you have these earth scenes where it's like this is kind of boring him hanging out in a bar with like lively he would up with some other girl try to have this really sad story of his father died in the air force which is tragic but the film doesn't try to make me care i mean they do but i really just don't care at all this is what makes him go into like the air force and what makes him a hero because he wanted to save his father from this burning fire he couldn't he just saw his father die right in front of his eyes so that was tragic but i just simply don't care and then the ring empowers themselves again i like the idea of it like when ryan reynolds pull out his ring and builds like a robot suit and has like a mini machine gun that was cool looks of it you know a bit weird but i like it but again, keep going back to the whole technology aspect. It was way too early to greenlit a Green Lantern movie because it was not ready. Visual effects it wasn't at its best until now. And so, you know, now if they ever announce a Green Lantern movie at all, I'll be pretty excited. I think it has the potential to be good because it just was not ready back then. And then I think that's it for this years later. This is gonna be on a shorter slide of videos because there isn't much to talk about. The most, honestly, the most interesting thing about this film is the behind the scenes stuff. I think Ryan Reynolds is uh, talking to my ass right now, but I believe that Ryan Reynolds said that he didn't really like the fact that he was just in, he was in no suit whatsoever he was in one of those dot suits and just kind of acted from nothing we were interesting looking on the behind the scenes stuff than actual film so if that doesn't tell you how much this film kind of sucks there you go so green lantern 10 years later does not hold up because it was way too early for the film to be greenlit and made and i don't think it's as bad as people make it out to be i think it's a competent film that's just boring as heck it is okay it's got nothing to it whatsoever i don't know why i guess i get why it's known as a horrible film because of the bad cg i completely get that 100 but just from a filmmaking sort of standpoint i don't know like it's not like horribly shot or anything i think there's worse films than this so that's it for me this has been the road so far and thank you for watching